I am Dr. Manish Yadav. I am consultant and coordinator of Department of Interventional Radiology, Kim's Health, Trivandrum. Today I'll be talking about interventional radiology. So interventional radiology helps to treat diseases from head to toe, uh, a lot of them by minimally invasive or just using a small needle prick. It is that simple. So uh, we will try and cover at least five specialties or five diseases where this this can help. The first one being the neurovascular territory. Uh, we all know there is a lot of types of strokes including ischemic stroke where there is blockade of blood supply. Then there is another type of stroke where there is bleeding inside the brain. It may be because of a small bulge in the artery. All these diseases can be treated by interventional radiology where we enter through a small uh, hole in the artery in the groin and through small catheters uh, we enter the um, blood supply to the brain and once we reach there we either take out the clot if it is causing a stroke or if there is any bulge in the artery we put some devices there or coils or uh, stents or things like that to prevent uh, flow into the bulge and prevent rupture of the aneurysm that being a major part of the uh, treatment which has actually turned around the treatment of all these complex diseases in the brain. The second part of the disease I want to talk about is the carotid disease or we can combine it with the peripheral arterial disease because they go hand in hand. Um, these patients, they present with uh, pain while walking in their legs um, when the disease affects the arteries of the leg. Uh, they will have when they when they start walking they will have pain in the legs they can also have pain at the rest uh, and they can have disturbed sleep at night they can also develop ulcer in the legs which may be because of inadequate blood supply to the leg which can cause these ulcers to form and these ulcers tend not to heal because there is uh, very little blood supply so to improve that a procedure called as angioplasty or stenting can be done where uh, a small, using a small catheter uh, we uh, uh, remove the block by using uh, balloons or stents. All these procedures can be done without any uh, anesthesia or any significant risk and it improves the blood supply and cause significant relief in symptoms. As far as carotid disease is concerned it can cause giddiness the patient can have transient ischemic attack which can cause transient stroke which improves rapidly. Any stroke may be a warning sign that there may be a carotid disease and hence it need to be treated. Again the carotid disease can be treated by simple balloon or stent or sometimes surgery may be required in such some of these cases but uh, a lot of them may be treated by simple angioplasty and stenting. Then similar to this condition, there are other conditions where angioplasty can help such as in the kidney like uh, when there is uh, very high blood pressure or the kidney function is reducing, sometimes there may be narrowing in the kidney arteries, again angioplasty may help in, in such patients. Sometimes this narrowing can also affect the blood supply of the intestines which can uh, lead to pain in the abdomen after eating. So this uh, patients may have uh, typical symptoms where they get pain in the abdomen after they have their food. Again, restoring the blood supply there improves the symptoms and um, they become completely symptom free. Uh, last two diseases which I want to talk to you about is, uh, first one is the prostate artery embolization. Actually, it's a newer, uh, newer treatment modality where a lot of patients who are elderly and they have a prostate problem. Uh, a large number of people may not be a surgical candidate because of their coexisting comorbidities like diabetes or heart condition which, uh, which makes them unsuitable for a major surgical procedure or for anesthesia. In such patients there is an option known as prostatic artery embolization where we enter the prosthetic arteries using again a small catheter through the groin without any anesthesia and we block the blood supply of the prostate. What happens after the blood supply is blocked is the, gradually the prostate shrinks in size. 
What is amazing is the relief of symptoms which happen almost immediately. Within a couple of days, we start seeing uh, the improvement in symptoms. And all this procedure can be done through a small pinhole in the groin artery without any major risk or major anesthesia. The last procedure I would like to talk about is the uterine fibroid embolization. It is seen in a lot of females where uh, they are suffering from fibroids which can cause excessive bleeding during their periods or there may be dysmenorrhea which is a condition a severe pain during their periods. All this uh, it, it is attributed to fibroid in the, uh, in the uterus that can be treated again without surgery, without removal of the uterus by a procedure called as embolization. This is the specific name for the procedure is uterine fibroid embolization where again through the artery in the hand or in the leg a small catheter is passed into the blood vessel of the uterus and uh, the blood supply is blocked. After the blood supply is blocked the, uter the fibroids which are a vascular tumor gradually is devoid of its blood supply and they start shrinking. Again here the most amazing part is the symptom re relief which happens almost immediately. Although the shrinkage of the fibroid may take uh, many days to months, however the symptom relief happens immediately. Thank you.